Hey guys, welcome to React Query Class Course. So what is React Query? Well, it's uh, hooks for fetching, uh, caching, and also updating asynchronous data in React. And in this class course, I will show you how to fetch a list of users from the back end using this library. And I will also show you um, whether React uh, Query and also Redux are they similar things. We will need to find out in this class course. And without further ado, let's now get started. All right, guys, so here you can see that this is the new React application that I just installed. And I changed the text to Welcome to React Query 3. So here you can see inside the index.js, I uh, put everything as is. And also for the uh, .js here, this is the text that I changed. Okay, so now let's just come back to the official website here. You can see that um, this is the React Query, uh, as it says that this is the end and powerful data synchronization for React. So it does the fetching, caching, and also updating the data in the React app. And this is the library that we will need to install. So you can see the number of download weekly, which is quite popular. Let's just quickly copy this one here and come back to the application. So if you want to open the terminal, uh, you can just click on this terminal and press on the new terminal here. So now let's just uh, terminate this pressing on Control C and press Y. So now let's just paste it here and press on the enter key all right so the library has been installed now let's just come back here so what i'm going to do is to create a new folder i'll call this as components and inside the components i'll create a new file called users let's just do capital letter users.js okay so now uh, for this component here what i'm going to do is to fetch a list of users let me just uh, quickly show you the endpoint. Okay, so here this is the website that we'll be using. So let's just scroll down here and try to find the endpoint. So here I'm going to use this one here, which is the slash user. So this is the uh, list of 10 users. So now let's just come back here, quickly create the new component. So first of all, let's just uh, quickly import the uh, use query from React Query and down here let's just create the um, user functions and right here let's just use the is loading is fetching also if there's an error and this is a list of data and also for the other one which is status equal to use query which is imported up here and here let's just give this a name I'll call this as users right here just use the fetch function and now let's just quickly grab the endpoint copy that and paste it here so once this done then we can use or try to access the response in the JSON format, all right? So it would look like this. And then down here, we can start uh, basically uh, using the data. So I want to show that data uh, within this uh, return. So this will be um, div tag. So let's just do H1. I'll just say this to basically copy or cut from here so let's just say this one is app for now let's just paste it here and down here let's start using so if it is fetching if that is true let's just um, print out a text saying background updating so um, the differences between the uh, is fetching and is loading. So is fetching is whenever that uh, we move or say, I'll, I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. So whenever that I go to the next or the different application or different uh, website, then when I come back here, you will see a text saying that the uh, background is updating or background updating. 
and for the is loading whenever they refresh the page then uh, this one is uh, using or it become true okay so now let's just um, add the is loading here so if that is true then I'll just uh, print out a text saying it's loading like that let's just do three dot here as well and down here let's just say if um, there's an error then I want to print out the error message so it will be error dot message and here this is the data so if we have the list of data then I want to map through that list of data so data dot map users so this is the uh, each user are uh, printed inside this um, h1 tag so don't forget to also provide the key as well otherwise we will see a warning message so this will be uh, user dot id because uh, inside here you can see that we have the unique um, id so we just use that straight away and this is uh, and right here this is where we display each user so user dot name right so it would look like this very simple so now uh, down here don't forget to also export it as well so it will be export default users would look like this let's just quickly save it and here you can see this is what it look like so now let me just uh, quickly try to explain you again what uh, I'm doing right now so here inside this um, users uh, component so uh, I'm using the use query so using the use query hook from this uh, react query uh, we don't need to use the use effect or the use state uh, from uh, our code so here you can see that it's a lot cleaner and also maintainable so here you can see we just use this straight away so normally uh, we need to use the use effect whenever that the page load then we call that use effects and we need to also set like um, the whenever that uh, it is slow uh, fetching the data then we need to also set the variable to uh, is loading right so all of this here you can see it just come by default and we don't need to write a lot of code so that's the benefit of using the uh, react query okay so now uh, we have this and uh, for the status I will show you after that so now let's just quickly go to the uh, app uh, .js so here let's just quickly import the query client and we also have the query client provider from react query and down here let's just also import the dev tool as well react query dev tool right from react query slash dev tool so this one here it come with the uh, react query and now let's just uh, go down here uh, we can start using the query client equal to new query client okay so what's next is down here uh, we can get it of this so the return it will be query client provider it's similar to the uh, redux as well we just need to uh, wrap it around the component so here we use the client equal to query client and then inside we just uh, use the uh, user component and now let's also import it up here so this will be import user component uh, from component folder slash users so right here we just um, export and now we start using it inside the app.js okay and also um, we need to use the uh, dev tool as well so this will be react query dev tool uh, not dev tool panel dev tool and we just need to specify the inner slice is open so it uh, open the dev tool by default 
so now let's just um, quickly so this is not uh, needed get rid of that quickly save that all right so let's just take a look here and here you guys can see it is fetching the data which um, you can see we have the text and a list of username so before getting into um, this like the dev tool and stuff let me just uh, quickly explain you what it does inside this um, app.js again like uh, why are we using the uh, query uh, client so before the react query 3 um, the uh, query cache has been split into the query client which is you can see right here and the lower level uh, like the uh, query cache and mutation cache instances so what does that mean? That means that whenever that we create thing uh, with the new uh, query uh, client, as you can see here, the uh, query cache and mutation cache are automatically uh, create that for us, so we don't need to supply them. So that's um, this is uh, the benefit again of using the uh, React Query three. We don't need to uh, specify the query cache or mutation cache as we need to do in the uh, previous versions, and now um, let me go back here so here you can see that this is the dev tool uh, which created by the uh, react query as well so we have the user so the user here is coming from this one which basically we uh, give it a name and when i click on that one here you can see that here we have the uh, refresh and there's a lot when i scroll down you can see we have the data and also um like a list of data and down here we also have the uh, cache time and the option when i click on it you can see the query key which is the users and there's a lot of information you can see we have the state as well so um right here you can see the status now it become a success all right so now let's just say if i try to add something else so uh, right here this is a successfully fetching right so whenever that I change the endpoint, meaning, meaning that this is, uh, doesn't exist at all. So now let's just come back here and try to refresh this again. Okay, so you can see that we have the uh, background update things and also uh, loadings. So now let's just uh, wait for a while. You can see that um, the uh, fail to fetch because this one doesn't exist. And now let's just take a look down here. Let's look at the state. So here you can see that the status how uh, now has changed to um, error. Okay, so now let me just change it back to the previous one. So um, I want to also show you the differences between the is fetching and the is loading. Okay, so now let me refresh this. And here you can see uh, we have the uh, is loading and also uh, is fetching uh, showing at the same time. But whenever that I visit like say a different uh, website when I go back let's just uh, take a look and notice the uh, message so here you can see uh, it's very quick but uh, what you can see it just says the ring background right so um, this right here the background updating so let me do that again okay so whenever that the page is loading uh, refreshing then uh, it will show uh, both but whenever that I go or doing something else when I come back here it only take effects on the is switching which is showing the uh, background updating so now let me just uh, show you the status as well so uh, let's just do the console log status like that and let me try to close this and using the um, and using the console here pressing on F12 so here you can see that um, it's showing the status of first it's just loading and then second uh, it go with the uh, successful but if I change this to something else let's see what it does refresh this page first it's loading and now it try to fixing multiple times so one two three and four but uh, it's still um, you can see if it's still error uh, then finally it just uh, show us the error which is file to fetch and with the status of uh, error all right so this is um, how uh, we use the status you can also do like say if status is equal to success then we want to show something else if it's equal to error then we want to show error message 
that's optional you can do that and also for the is switching here you can also do something like say if is loading if that is true then we want to return the text saying loading dot 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 like that right so uh, you can either do this or using this okay so now let me just uh, try to show you this one as well click on that and you can see um, it's loading and if it's done uh, loading then uh, we see the text here okay so uh, let me just try to put this back loading refresh this all right so now let's just talk about the differences between react query and redux so um, react query it is a server state library it is responsible for managing asynchronous operations between your server and the client while redux it is the client state library that can be used to store asynchronous data and we have to use um, the libraries such as the uh, redux saga or the redux tongue to manage the data from the back end so basically for a uh, react query uh, we store the uh, back end state and it also replaces the boilerplate like um, i mentioned earlier using the use facts or use state and it manage the cache data in the uh, client state with just a few lines of code so you can see that uh, with react query the code that we write is a lot less compared to the others you can see that this is the uh, user component and inside the app component with only a few lines of code then everything is good to go with uh, it take care of the caching and there's a lot more all right guys so that's pretty much it um, for the uh, react query cross course as you can see here this is the data that we have and if you have any question related to this cross course please let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one until then see you guys in the next video